Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. Today I have another video and it's uh, quite a sub uh, subject, I think. Um, I'm going to, to explain how I uh, manage uh, pest control. And I wanted to do this for a, for a while now, but I had some Arcades uh, inf infected uh, with um, a spider mite, with spider mites, the red spider mites. And um, that is one of the pests that I get the most. I some on occasion have uh, the mealy bugs, not that much, but spider mites. Always, always spider mites. And yes, they drive me a little bit crazy because, um, yeah, um, before you noticed, in most cases, when you have spider mites, uh, there is also some damage uh, done already. But uh, I try to, uh, I know now that I have, it, uh, have them quite easily, apparently. I don't know why, but I uh, get them very easily. So I always watch uh, the leaves of my orchids. If I see some brown edges, sometimes some purple, some black spots, that's always something, uh, some indication. But uh, before um, I'm going to talk about uh, it more, I just want to go into um, my solution and then uh, I will talk about you uh, during this video how I try to uh, get rid of them. So and these are the uh, ingredients and um, uh, that, I, uh, that, I, that we need to use. Uh, this is not uh, an ingredient but you need a spray bottle to get it uh, really nicely spread on your orchids, especially on the leaves. And the solution, uh, like I said, uh, I'm working with is from Miss Arcade Girl. I um, bl do believe it's not completely herself, but she personalized it a bit. And I'm copying that because it works. And I'm using this for about three years now, and it works fantastic. So I won't change it because, it, uh, like I said, it works. So we need a spray bottle. In that bottle we have uh, also already a mixture, but we have RO water. Next to me I have my RO, uh, my rain barrel which is filled with RO water and it holds about 240 liters. Uh, this can get to room temperature uh, in, uh, in about a day, so it's very easy to when I use some water. I just only have to uh, use the tap and I have uh, beautiful fresh water. So I fill that up and um, then I need some paraffin oil at least something that holds paraffin oil but I was lucky enough to find it uh, uh, one liter bottle uh, on the internet it was kind of easy for me to, uh, to get this uh, but if you don't find a pure version you need basically some oil that has paraffin oil in it like baby oil I believe or uh, now the, there are more uh, <laughs> brands out there but you basically like I said need something with paraffin oil and we have a bottle of this shop, washing up liquid. It says on the bottle, in this case, it's orange jasmine and it's naturally. So it's a bio product. I prefer bio, but it's just personal, but I really prefer bio if I can. So, and then, uh, like I said, we have our own our own water and we need a, uh, a recipe. Once again, if you want to have a full explanation on the recipe, you should check uh, Miss Arcade Girl uh, a video about it. Just briefly going over it, uh, when we have 500 milliliters you need uh, a 1% solution of uh, oil. So that means that you need, if you have 500 milliliters, you need 5 milliliter of oil for the thin leafed orchids like uh, Miltoniopsis miltonias. With a really thin leaf you need a 1% solution. With the orchids who have a thicker uh, leaf, like a Phalaenopsis, for example, you can use a 2% solution. In that case, you need um, uh, 10 milliliters of paraffin, paraffin, uh, paraffin oil in your spray bottle with basically a drip of uh, liquid soap. Uh, that is uh, so you can easily mix it. If you don't do that, you have you, if you don't use the liquid uh, soap your oil will not mix in with your water. You, uh, I think everybody knows that, but it, just in case, <laughs> your oil will float on top of the water level and you want it to have to mix in with that water so you can spray it on your orchids very easily. So let's spray the orchids and get rid of those spider mites. <laughs>
tell I have the big ones outside. I don't hope it will uh, sound too windy here, <laughs> because the mic will pick it up, but it, it, actually it's at the moment quite nice weather. We have a little bit of everything uh, going on today, but uh, I have the biggest one outside. Beautiful, right? All those blooms. But uh, they have a little bit more space here. And I just uh, treated them, obviously. They were still a little bit, a bit uh, wet. I hope you can see that. Or on that leaf. And uh, I tried to cover up um, the blooms with my hands. I had my gloves on. But uh, cover them up. But yeah. It's uh, more, I, I'm more interested in keep the plants alive, uh, alive yeah, and, and healthy. So therefore, yeah, I hope to keep the blooms. But um, also on the Ragnarii. But you never know. But uh, like I said, I want to have those plants healthy. And the blooms will be back if I uh, spray them with the oil solution. But um, yeah, like I said, I thought I, so it's nice weather. So I uh, could do these guys uh, outside. And um, yeah, they are now uh, a, a little bit covered in sun. So I don't hope they uh, will get burned because I had a, even an oil solution on them. Let me check for it. No, not warm at all. But yeah, spraying oil on the leaves and putting them in, in the sun is not a good idea. But I do not have more space here. I will keep an eye on them and as soon as they are dried up, they will go inside the greenhouse again. But it's it's nice to have a, a fresh breeze for them, I think. So, and I had another group of orchids, more little ones, Oncidium types done. And they are standing in front of this fan which I just shut off for now, because otherwise you can barely hear me, but um, yeah, let me see. You can see the shine here, the oil. And um, I, I must admit I didn't see uh, much marks on them of spider mites, but just to be sure, because I had so many, I thought I just want to give them an extra, uh, no, not an, not an extra, but just give them a good coat of that oil solution just to be uh, to be sure but uh, yeah if the weather is not great and warm I will put them on a the floor like this and in front of that uh, van and uh, keep it running as, uh, as long as they need to, uh, to dry so therefore I like uh, to do this in the morning so they have quite some hours uh, if they need it but most of the times it's around three four sometimes five hours and then uh, they will be dry again so that's uh, the beauty of having uh, quite a strong van uh, blowing air basically uh, above them but it makes that air movement uh, move quite quickly and thereby uh, they dry up uh, quite nicely so I hope you can hear me but this is the next lot most of them are uh, my uh, Miltonias and some other uh, different orchids there they all have their spray as well and as you can see there I have my fan running uh, full speed and the door opens for fresh air and uh, I hope to let them dry up quite uh, quite quickly and I try to avoid uh, spraying the oil solution on the blooms again so in a few days I will uh, well actually one to two days I will know if I uh, was um, doing that job right because otherwise uh, the blooms will uh, fade quite quickly and but as well they do not like the oil on them so like I said I try to avoid them but this is uh, this lot and I also did most of my Cattleyas and my Cadecidia there in the back four of them and also uh, like I said my Cattleyas and you can still see they are still wet I just finished spray them I'm sorry for the noise because I have a big fan running here as well to give a lot of air circulation here and um, to let them dry up. I don't want to have uh, not create crown rot of course so therefore I try to uh, yeah, really keep the air moving when I'm doing this and especially with this amount of orchids you can see on the ground on the floor that I need that air moving uh, as much as I can. But like I said this uh, yeah, today I did two uh, very big <laughs> groups of orchids again and uh, just to get rid of those spider mites <laughs> and the only one that I cannot take off is my uh, vanilla orchid so therefore I sprayed it uh, 
like this and sadly the tip of the vanilla did rot off because of the pest also I had some aphids and apparently I uh, did notice them uh, too late but I think it will shoot out uh, again but this one get treated to spider mites as well and, and probably other pests and you can see all those orchids uh, uh, had their turn now and they are now on the floor I just sprayed them also my uh, hand cocky eye also infected with um, uh, spider mites and around on that new growth aphids I'm sorry that was the word uh, it was covered in aphids so but yeah I uh, I'll give them all a spray as well I have psychopsis there in the back I try to avoid spraying the flowers because I really really love them and oil uh, will not do them any good if there is oil on them but um, um, this is my yellow one but I see I was a little bit distracted because look at this guys can you see it I hope you can see it I'm sorry let's try to focus those little green speckles uh, why doesn't try to but I hope you can see it this one I just noticed now is also covered in aphids oh they drive me crazy it's especially in this area this one as well they're all so I need to grab some alcohol I will spray the blooms but yeah so I apparently have aphids and spider mites annoying me and my plants <laughs> I think you can see it better uh, like this I just turn off the uh, the van so the blooms will stay still but you can see it's covered in aphids and I don't use my oil solution on blooms because I otherwise will lose the blooms I have here my alcohol spray it's around 20 no I'm sorry 92 uh, percent of uh, alcohol I think rubbing my alcohol and I will spray the blooms and hopefully they will survive but they have a better chance with an alcohol solution than with an oil solution so I will now spray them and uh, we will have a look later on the day if the blooms are still okay and if I don't forget I can film them in a few days but now they do not have a chance I really really need to uh, do something about this so I just spray them really dripping wet the bloom so we will uh, have a we will see in a few days if they uh, stay here the blooms but like I said uh, with an oil solution I'm m most certain sure to lose them within a day or two but maybe the alcohol they can take it so far uh, my experience is that they can take the alcohol but I never used as much on blooms as this time because this one like I said was covered in aphids so so yeah, probably we have a uh, two-in-one <laughs> pest control video, some aphids, but uh, mainly this was one is focused on the spider mites, but it also helps with aphids, aphids, I'm sorry, mealybox as well, this oil solution helps for a lot of, uh, uh, also with scale, um, it prevents uh, for uh, pests sp spreading out uh, for quite a lot of different pests, I should say. But like I said, the aphids, because they are uh, love to be on the flowers, I uh, need to use a alcohol solution. And so far, this one is still clean, I think. And the yellow one, I'm sorry. I have some spots there, but... I think it's clean. And apparently, this side of the greenhouse... All, uh, yeah, these plants who are here some of uh, on these uh, on the shelves they were affected with aphids aphids and uh, the rest of my greenhouse was aphid free I need to knock on wood now but I don't know why but this this corner this 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 family of orchids and the, those are now on the ground obviously but um, yeah those ones uh, were quite affected with uh, with aphids so but hopefully I can now prevent it from spreading out to the greenhouse so after three days this is how the flowers look like I must admit they've been here uh, for a while uh, already before I sprayed them with alcohol 
but um, yeah they will be here a bit longer as when you would spray them with the oil solution but but still they are they are fading a bit quicker than they normally would I think and um, I'm just now gonna cut them off I see a few aphids left probably dead but they still have that light uh, green color the rest is uh, starting to uh, turn black so those will do not any harm anymore but I uh, Maybe there are some aphid eggs, I don't know, <laughs> but just to be sure, I'm going to cut them off now and I will put them in the garden where the aphids uh, belong and not in my greenhouse. <laughs> and then it was time to do uh, the orchids in the orchid room. I did all of these guys already and you can see these shelves are empty now because I sprayed uh, these guys. For an exception for my jewel orchids, I try to avoid spraying them because those are the ones that really hate the oil on the leaves so i leave them be and so far so good um so let's have a look quick look in the greenhouse where the noise is because i have the fan on full speed but as you can see here are the orchids from uh, uh, the orchid room and i'm waiting for them to dry up and as you can see we have the oil on the leaves again. So uh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. So oh, and now it's time to do this area here. The wall of fame uh, fails. <laughs> but um, yeah, the thing is, you see that? The spikes, I have quite a lot of fails that start to uh, bloom and rebloom again due to the uh, temperature drops I think during the day it's around 25 to 30 and at night it's around 20 and then a lot of them start to spike as you can see very big long spikes some of them and some of them just started to bloom but anyhow I uh, need to treat them as well just in case and also this uh, this big guy this is my biggest argot it's the dendrobium chrysanthemum I think you can see the buds starting and we have a few who are already more developed here so yeah it's time if I spray it now they probably just will be fine but I need to do this now before they really start opening up because then the blooms will fade and I will not spray the blooms on the fells but uh, the flower spikes and the leaves I will uh, keep an eye on the blooms but I will avoid them because of the oil solution so um yeah, that's uh, what we uh, need to do, and then I have all my orchids done for uh, the coming months, I hope, I think. But yeah, wish me luck with those spikes. I'm so afraid that I will break uh, a few off in the process. So, I do wear my uh, gloves for this. My glasses, I always have my glasses on, practically always. <laughs> but it will protect my eyes a little bit, I think. Uh, but uh, I'm also going to wear a mask and this time I'm going to wear this mask. I use this for my airbrushing as well, so it doesn't, they cannot go uh, air around it, so it really filters all the air you will breathe in, but you can see it's not a very uh, nice uh, way of uh, looking, but anyhow, just focus on the plants, and, uh, but I will protect myself, even though it's a homemade solution. Uh, I don't want to breathe it in too much, so, uh, uh, well not too much, I don't want to breathe it in at all of course, but uh, so therefore I uh, will use some protection, so that's a very, very big tip I think, always uh, think of yourself first and then apply whatever you want to apply to your plants, but, uh, so yeah I'm going to wear this and then we're going to start it, and I'm going to try to film uh, this process, oops, the blooms, but um, I will speed it up definitely, uh, obviously, because uh, it, otherwise it will take too long. So here we go.
Now they need to dry up, obviously, so therefore I have a uh, running my vans on high speed and uh, have a really high uh, air movement. And as you can see, the, uh, the leaves and the blooms are moving, and I will have this uh, at least for three hours, probably more, but at least three hours so uh, the orchids can uh, really dry up and. Um, Hopefully they will be prote protected for uh, quite some months, but at least, uh, yeah, it should be at least three months, uh, and I hope longer, of course. But uh, on the other hand, uh, on, not the other hand, uh, before I forget, <laughs> you can see we still have the spikes, so I managed to go uh, around them, and uh, I'm really happy with that, because I would be really sad to break them off, but uh, yeah, so well, so, so far so good. So now I can say that I did every single orchid that I own. Uh, I sprayed them and they all have a beautiful coating of that oil solution, uh, which will protect them from uh, getting any pests on them, uh, like I said, for uh, at least a few uh, months. So this is how I treat uh, all of my orchids and uh, prevent them from getting uh, pests on them. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. I must admit this uh, way of treating them for pests is uh, really working for me, so maybe you have uh, another solution. Uh, but I'm not intent to change it um, yeah, quite quickly, I think. Probably, maybe there's a, another way which may be even a bit better, I don't know, but I must admit this is uh, really working for me. So uh, never change a winning team, I think. Um, if I um, look out for it, I will I can protect the blooms, so uh, it will not infect the blooms, and I keep uh, my spikes, and uh, the orchids are protected for pests, which is the, the whole reason of this, uh, this concept, of course. So yeah, I, uh, did, will, uh, this solution gives me everything I probably need. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.